Hi parents, quick question. Have you ever wondered what happened to some of the old ways of learning? Or the old ways of teaching? I remember those things used to work. But we don't have those things anymore. You never thought about introducing something old now? Well today, I am reintroducing you to something old that you can try for your children. Stay tuned to know what it is. Hi parents, my name is Sandra Elador from Parenting Plug. Today I want to introduce you to something new, but really it's something old. Something old that we used to use, that no longer get used anymore. It's just something nice to have on your shelf. Matter of fact, you may have, a, you may have seen in a couple of videos because I had it back there on my shelf. So today I want to introduce you to the Abacus. Yes, the Abacus. I barely see any of these anymore. I see them online, maybe at a teacher's, in a teacher's room, but it's usually just placed there. I sub for about a year and I don't think I've seen it in any one of those teacher's classroom. So the abacus, let's bring it back. So in this generation, they call some, they use something called the counters. It's a bunch of little round um, circles or cubes that your children could use to count. I have a couple of them and they are very effective. But I want to also introduce you, or should I say reintroduce you to the abacus. The abacus, the one thing I do like about it is because everything is stationary. Everything stays where it belongs. Unlike some of the counters, which I still use by the way. This, I don't have to worry about these being all over my floor. And in my house, my kids' education stuff is all over my living room floor. If you follow me on Instagram, <laughs> you've seen a couple of pictures of things all over my floor. I use this for my four-year-old to teach him how to skip count. Teaching him how to count, he already got that path, but I'm teaching him how to skip count because I want to teach him how to multiply soon. So if he knows the concept of skip counting, he can multiply. So all he will do is, honey, let's count by two. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Or he would literally do two, four, six, eight, ten, and so on. So that's what I use it for as a skip count. Or if we're doing math and we're trying to add three and we add three more, how much is that? He can see the visual right on here. And with the counters, it's a little bit messy and it takes a little longer. This one is a little quicker way to do it. So I am reintroducing the abacus. Yes, I'm reintroducing it to you guys. So if you want to get more information on the abacus or where you can get it, I have a link down below that you can go ahead and click and go ahead and get it just that. If you have Prime, you even get it faster. So click on the description box down below and you'll find a link that you can purchase your own abacus and you'll have it in a short period of time at your own home. So if this was helpful for you, go ahead and comment below. Let me know what do you think about the abacus. Did you ever use the abacus as a kid? Have you just seen it collect dust at people's home or maybe in your own classroom? If you are a teacher and you forgot about the abacus, all of that great stuff, go ahead and comment below and I want to interact with you guys right on YouTube. So until next time, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to share and ring that bell. And I will see you soon, bye. This is Sandra Elador from Parenting Plug, where we are our children's first teachers. Bye-bye.